in case you are very new to Zen doodling or Zen tangling, as it is sometimes also called, a Zen tangle is an easy and fun way to create beautiful and organic images by drawing structured patterns. These are usually drawn in tiles, and then the tiles can be connected and combined to mosaics. You will see that in this class we're not only working off of square tiles, obviously we're filling different shapes as well, but this is a good way to get an introduction. In case you are completely new and you've never done it before, I'm going to show you just the very basics of a few of the designs that you'll see me use in this class. Like we've discussed in the handout, the basic shapes that we're going to work with are lines, circles, and squares. And the thing that I like to do with my lines is combine three of them into this kind of fan pattern where I make semicircles and then continue on from a corner of the semicircle that I created. You can go in the middle upward as well. There's nobody to say that you have to go one specific direction, but you get the idea. So finding a corner and the next space and the next space, and then you're combining these three lines or th these three semicircles together. Et voila, you get something that looks like a fan kind of structure. If you want to build on it, you can decide to add another pattern into one of the segments. For example, you can add triangles into the center space. You can decide to color block it, maybe the smallest space, and then you can start playing, seeing what this would look like if you continue it for a whole page. The lines don't have to be curved, they can also be straight. You can see that you can create easy patterns to fill any space that you like. The next design I want to show you looks super intricate, I think, and I really enjoy it, but it, once you know how it is built, it's very easy to do. If you are on Procreate, just a little tip, you might be using a drawing guide and adding squares to your image to help you because what we're going to do now is we're going to use circles and we're going to draw little circles and we'll fill them in at all the nodes that are connecting these squares. And then we're going to create the pattern by combining these filled in circles with very simple S curves where we curve the line at the top and then come straight down and curve it at the bottom. So you're wrapping these S curves around the filled in dots. And when you combine all of them like so, it looks like you have a scroll going. Our brains are really amazing. They're, you know, filling in the shape. And then when you turn your paper or turn the canvas and com continue combining horizontally in this case, see how you get the shapes of wavy tiles and as if they are in shadow over one another. And I just love that pattern, especially because it is so easy to make. Again, this can also be done with squares. And 
You can use zigzags. Whatever fits your design better. I also like to use circles of all different sizes to fill in small spaces. If you want them, if you're working on Procreate and if you want your circles to look super round and be perfectly round, you can make a circle shape and then tap your finger to the screen and hold it. And then if you keep your Apple Pencil on the screen and drag outwards and inward, you can change the size. You can add little elements to the circles to make them seem like they have light or shadow playing off of them to give the piece a little texture. Personally, I also like teardrop shapes like this to fill in different spaces. If you wanted them to be combined like peacock feathers, you can go around like this and just pull them down. And again, because this is a doodle and because this is supposed to take your mind off things, don't worry about it not being perfect. It's just a bit of fun. Another style you'll see me use is uh, basket weave, which we'll get using diagonal lines and diagonal squares. And you're adding little half circles on the tops of these diamond shapes. And then you can fill those in with a little shade from the top and the bottom so that they have a, a clean space in the middle. There you have a shape that you can use for, you know, ice cream cones or waffles or in what we were doing in this video, a balloon basket. And then there's also a way that you can trick your eye into thinking that there is a 3D box situation happening. I'm going to show you how to do that. Where you take one of these boxes and you add a little triangle in the middle, color block it out, and combine the edges. See how all of a sudden it looks as if you're going down there? So let's see if we can maintain almost or approximately the same kind of size. Color block these in and draw a line down to the edge. And all of a sudden it looks as if you have like a 3D box going on. You might also use a checkerboard technique. Oh, this wasn't properly closed. And again, really, there is no limit to what your imagination can do with these squares, with this technique. It's all about having some fun and playing around. 